This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And we are back taking an updated look at the World Edit mod. Now, I know I just did the mod spotlight on this, but the mod author left me one of the largest comments I have ever had from a mod author ever. And the mod author clarified a lot of things and pointed out some stuff that I felt you all should know and because of the clarification and the updates that the mod author did fixing things, I felt that it was only right that I do an update immediately so you all know how great the mod author is for one and for two, like there's there's just things you need to know and you'll see here in a second. So we're gonna go through this post from Errors4, which is the mod author. First off, I was asked to elaborate on the bugs. The main bugs that I was getting was the selection that I made was not showing up after I switched tools and the um, paste feature wasn't working properly, which you addressed already and is fixed. The author also wanted us to know that you can download all previous versions and gave a link for that. So I will post that in the description below. Okay, so with this updated version, I wanna show you all some things. First of all, everything works the exact same. You're gonna get your little box, you're gonna go into debug mode, all that stuff, follow the tutorial from yesterday, except in this updated version, Version, you have the all-in-one tool. If you want to use this tool, there is an additional mod called the Interfaces mod. It works along with this. So if you have your Interfaces mod installed and you unpack your tools, you should also get this tool. This tool brings up this interface. Now before we go any further, I'm going to tell you right now, you want to do this. This is freaking awesome. So next thing all you do, you got to do is go to your all-in-one tool, which I have right here. And this is your tool that does everything. You can just go boop and you're out of that. You don't need that. Unless you're going to do schematics and stuff, you don't really need to go back in that menu because you can do your main editing right through here. See right now we're on the select tool. Bam, I just removed the select tool. Look, ruler tool. Okay, just got rid of, oh, just filled things in. Notice everything filled in all in one go. I'll explain that here in a second. So back to the select tool, uh, stamp tool, look, there you go. You get the idea. It's freaking awesome. You can drag it, position it anywhere you want. This will make creating something a thousand times faster. Maybe not a thousand, but you get the idea. So real quick, I'm going to delete this. Now that I've pointed out this one major change in the updated version, this tool right here, this amazing tool, let's get back to all the information that Errors4 gave us. Now, the reason the ruler was placing the blocks the way it was in the last video was because I had no background. If you notice in today's, I have a background and the ruler places all the blocks immediately. So we can just go back in and hit bam and erase that. Now we can select a chunk here and I can demonstrate this effect. If we delete the background and now I go back to the ruler and I just select up like that, you see I have to go through and place them all again. So that was the reason that the ruler was acting the way it was in the last video. The other thing I want you to notice is right here. Okay, right here, now that you can see it a little bit better, you can see that it now displays the length that you have selected. So we stretch out our ruler here, we got 23 blocks, 23 times one. That's awesome. That's freaking great and thank you for adding that mod author. That is the way a ruler should work and that's Fantastic. Okay, next up we have pasting and schematics. Now, first off, the schematics. One thing I didn't think about when making a schematic, and that's the wrong menu, is that you can have multiple. So showing them when you drag your selection tool isn't practical. You wouldn't be able to show all of them at one time. That's the reason it shows the one you have selected. So for example, if we fill in this area here, it's, it's taken me a minute to get used to this up here and not having the tool under my cursor. I gotta say that's, it's weird, especially when I have this open. Anyway, so we make our selection like so, and we go to our schematic tool and we make a schematic. Now we have the schematic over here, so if we had another one, let's say we don't want all of it. Let's say we just want this chunk here. So now I make another schematic 
you can see where the problem would come into hand if it showed the schematics. So I didn't think about this when I was making the video, but it's a very good point and it makes sense. It's the reason the schematics can't be showed and they're shown when you have them underneath your cursor. The other thing that was pointed out was that you don't need to select the whole area, which I didn't know, um, and this is actually pretty cool. You only have to select one block and you see it shows us our paste section. So if I just come over here and I select this, it's going to redraw. And the reason that it redraws the way that it does is because of the way Starbound works, basically the long and short of it. It's just the way the code is. So that's the reason it draws the way it does. So and the same thing works with the schematic files. I can just click here and then I can pick my schematic. Let's get one that's not the same size. And then I can click in the area and there you go. Let me actually fill this back in really quick. As you saw, you only have to select that bottom corner piece, which would make it a lot easier now that I think about it to select where you want your schematics or your paste from your stamp tool to go. Also, the mod author has kind of called me out, and so I'm going to call all of you out for help as well. If anybody can think of a better way to do the schematics besides picking them up and showing them as they work now, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Honestly, I think this is pretty much your best bet now that I think about it. It was also mentioned that when deleting the schematics, you should right click first to get rid of it and then put it in the trash. So pick it up, right click, put it in the trash. Also, the way I showed you yesterday is uh, another way you can make sure that you don't have the schematics anymore by checking that and then exiting out. So that's going to actually lead us into this uh, configuration panel. Uh, apparently the manipulated UI mod is not required. You are not required to have this. However, even though that it's optional, it's recommended. So I'm gonna have to say that you should probably get it. I mean, I realize it's it's optional and, and it's recommended by a mod author. I'm telling you get it because if you don't get it, you're missing out on all of these features, which some are very important. And especially for those of you who are doing things like painting large portions of terrain, like I showed you with the pencil tool, you're gonna need to be able to modify your pencil radius. So, you know, just get it. It's a tiny little mod. One other thing that was pointed out was the iteration delay is the delay in between starbound drawing blocks. So basically if you put this at 60 second or at 60, it's going to be 60 seconds in between each time it draws a block. So this would be good for if you're doing something huge. Um, if you're doing like something five times this size, you're drawing or pasting a massive freaking copy you would want to make that iteration delay a little longer, otherwise your Starbound may have a stroke. Also, all the settings for this menu can be found on GitHub, and the mod author has provided us with a link to that as well. So I'll put the link for that in the description as well, just in case anybody has any more questions that I didn't answer. Also, this compact interfaces, this is optional as well. So basically, if you want to use the World Edit mod, you only need to download the World Edit mod. Using this and this is completely optional. It's two other optional mods that you will only get the option to use these if you download those mods. I'm going to say download them. Like I said, they're small and trust me, you'll find this way more handy and faster than picking up each individual tool. Okay, one last thing before we wrap this up. With the stamp tool only placing half of the thing in the previous video and not working properly, that was a bug that's been fixed now. Just want to go ahead and point that out. So some of you may be deterred from downloading the mod because of that, but it is fixed now and it does work. As you see, I stamped this stuff, schematic this stuff. It's, it's working fine now. And before we wrap up this video, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you all so much for all your awesome support. If you all enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.